Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and a user asked me to create a fish. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first thing I need you to do is hit create new design. Now, today we are going to make what I call a scribble fish. Friends, let's start by naming it fish. I'm going to put my initials after it, and then we are going to grab scribble. When you drop scribble down, I simply want you to make the back of a tail. I want you to move up make it a little fish face. I'm gonna cut a little mouth into it. And you can do this as many times as you want to get it so it looks the way you want. But that, my friends, is gonna be my cute little scribble fish. Now friends, I'm gonna make my fish into Nemo, or a clownfish. So I'm gonna put a little squiggle in them, and I'm gonna do done. I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna make it four millimeters thick. I'm gonna pick an orange color. And then friends, I want to duplicate it. So I'm gonna do Control D, and I'm gonna make this one white. So you can see there's two. I'm gonna do Control Z to put them in the same spot. I'm gonna double click on the white one. And now friends, I wanna take and use this tool to scribble inside my fish. So I'm just gonna go right here, right here, and just fill that in. You can scribble a couple times to get it so it's perfect. It only takes a second. And now when I hit done, you can see we've got a white and orange fish. I'm gonna go back into the white one, and now that I've proven I'm successful, I'm gonna use the other tool, the erase, to cut it off. So I'm cutting off the front of my fish, and I'm just leaving that white chunk. If we go back to done, all right, friends, so that looks okay, right? But watch this. If you shrink it down just a little bit, so it's inside on every corner, I use the little black handles, and then if you group this, it actually looks awesome. Turn on your multicolor, bam, it cuts to the exact right spot. So friends, we need to ungroup this, and we need to do the same process for the other colors. I'm gonna do Control D on the orange one, I'm gonna double click on that orange one and I'm gonna go back to the back here and I'm gonna fill it in. Once again, I'm gonna use this tool. I'm gonna make this section right here black. Get that little piece right there. I'm also gonna make this section up here black. I did not look up a clownfish first, so this could end up looking silly, but this is just part of the fun is how you can make these as creative as you want. This time I'm cutting off that section that I just made. And I keep telling you it's black. It's gonna be orange at the moment, but when I get into Tinkercad again, that's where I'm gonna make it black. When I click done, you can see those parts show up. Here's where I click the black color. Notice they don't give you the blackest of blacks. If you want that, you need to go custom and pull it down and then I'm gonna simply nudge it in just a little bit in each direction, always with the black handles. And boom, now when I group that, it'll look perfect. The final thing though is I want white back here. So once again, friends, I'm gonna do Control D on the orange piece. When I double click on it, it is the back chunk that I want to be white. I'm gonna go back to my large paint tool. I'm gonna just get it close. I'm gonna go back to the large erase and I'm gonna erase it decent. Friends, when you hit done and you switch it to the color you want, I'm gonna go back to presets and choose the white. I'm gonna squish it so it fits. When we zoom out and we group our little fish and make sure we turn on multicolor, you have got a pretty darn fun little clownfish. You can see down here I missed a little bit. Friends, if you double click, I can click that white one and just nudge it up and bam, get it back to perfect. Friends, let's give them an eye. I'm gonna come over here, bring out a cylinder hole, hold down squish and make it eye size. I do want it to be taller. And I think that's gonna be the size I like. And let's cut it out. Bam, adorable little fishy. Let's stand them up. I'm gonna rotate them 90 degrees. Use the cone to lift them up or control up arrow, whichever you prefer. And then let's go find them some fishy friends. 
if you go into creatures and characters and hit more shapes and more shapes and more shapes you can find all kinds of awesome fish to bring in and actually make your own awesome aquarium or whatever you want that uses fish and friends remember if you make something awesome with this generate a link copy the link and then you can reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram and gmail you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad friends if that doesn't work for you don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com i have a page dedicated to tinkercad tons of amazing lessons and the sweet built-in messaging tool you can fill in your information click the button and reach out to me almost instantly maybe you will be the next designer showcase as you make something awesome with your aquarium friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day